Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to add some lighting to your renderings. So here I have a rendering that I did, kind of a daytime shot, and then here we have it with some uh, lighting inside and just maybe uh, kind of a dusk view. So if you're interested in seeing how to do this in just a few quick steps, take a look at this video and check it out. Okay guys, so how do we add some lighting to this model to make it pop instead of just looking uh, plain like this daytime shot? And for those of you who are interested in knowing, this is a model that I built from a AutoCAD file and I, I have another video where I show you how I, how I can build these models in more or less about an hour or a couple hours depending on the type of model it is. So I build them in SketchUp and then I import them into Lumion where I create uh, these renderings. So this is a rendering, it's a daytime shot. Uh, I can show you here in the photo section, you know, kind of the finished product that I had. But now I want to kind of do um, kind of a somewhat of an evening shot where you, we can see some of the lighting coming through the windows. So I need to add some real lights to make that happen. So this is what I do and hopefully you'll get some tips out of this quick uh, lesson on how you can possibly create some nice looking renderings and lighting. So first thing I do is go over here to lights and we're going to pop in some Omni lights and we're going to use, this is uh, Lumion 11.3 and they have this new Omni lights where it has shadows now so we're going to go ahead and try this in this model. Alright, so this is kind of what I like to do is I like to place it right on the window and, and then I'm going to increase the brightness and we're going to push it in, right? I'm going to push it in by holding down shift and I'm in the select and move free. So I'm holding down shift so it moves it along this um, kind of this horizontal plane. So I'm going to shift it so I can see it reflecting on the wall. And now one thing that's happening is I'm not really seeing it the way I want. So I need to change my weather setting. So I'm going to go here to weather and we're going to pick a real sky and let's do an overcast. And I'm just going to pick this middle one here. And now we can really see some, some difference in our settings here. And now let's go back to selecting the light. And if you want, it's, it's a good idea or a good habit to kind of put your lights on their own layer. So I'm going to see what layers I have available here. Let's go ahead and add a layer 6. And we'll put our lights on that layer 6. Let's not make it hidden. Okay, so here we have our light. And we can change the color of the light if we want it to be a little bit more of a orange, kind of a warmer feel. Change the brightness, you adjust the fall off. So I like to play with these a little. And so I want to get that. I want to get that look where it's really lighting up. It looks like the lights are on. And I'm going to make a copy of this by holding down Control. And I'm also going to hold down Shift so I copy it. Oops, let's see if I grab that. I'm sorry, I'm holding down Alt and Shift. And again, I'm going to just copy it over uh, laterally to this other room here and I'm going to show you some other things too to kind of make this thing look more realistic and there I just created another copy so now I have two different lights there and again if you if you don't like the colors which I'm not sure if I'm settled on the the color the the warmth of it so I, you can kind of play with this to get the exact uh, hue of you know yellow that you like okay so let's grab some more. I'm going to deselect all. So I just want to select one. So I'm just going to co I'm copying over the same lights that I'm using. Let's drag this over. I'm holding down Alt to create that copy. And this I'm probably going to have to move it. So let's move this beneath the, the window. Or beneath I have my stairs right there. You can kind of see where it starts reflecting. 
And we don't want it to reflect too much, so I'm going to have to move this down. All right, now let's move over here. So we're kind of illuminating this whole area. And we have to think about the view that we're going to get. So I'm going to shift this, hold it down to where it, again, where it's hitting that wall beyond. And I'm just going to copy some more lights up here. And I'm going to hold down shift. Oops, uh, sorry, hold down shift here. And hold down shift and move it back here. Again, we can play with the fall off amount so that fills more of the area. You can also bring it higher up. All right, so just gonna kind of try. I'm trying to fill that whole area with light, and let's keep going. And we could always adjust these, but this is just getting some lights in here. All right, let's use the move tool. I'm holding down Alt and Shift, and I'm gonna make another copy. Okay, let's move one down here. Holding down shift and just pushing it inside of the room. And let's get some here in our lobby or our foyer. I really like that cast shadows there, really nice. It's that new uh, Lumion 11.3 feature. There's a large room back there, so you got to add sufficient lighting. And then we have some in our garage. So we're going to go ahead and light that up as well. And I may have an issue here. I think. Uh, I need to um, delete a uh, delete a, a surface there. So to do that, and this may you may find this helpful. So I'm going to go ahead to my SketchUp model. Let's go ahead and hide this door. There's a surface there we need to delete. Going to unhide that. I'm going to go ahead and save my model again. I usually save it down to 2015, uh, just a habit that I have from using some different SketchUp's. And we're going to go back to Lumion. I'm going to go to Imported Models, select my model, and just click over here to Reimport. And then you got to give it a couple seconds to update your model. And there it is. It's thinking. Hopefully not too long. And boom, there we go. Okay, so now let's move our light inside. Let's go back to our lights. Hold down shift and just push it further inside of that garage. Okay, very good. We have some light action going on. Let's put some in our foyer here as well. So I'm going to grab this. Just going to kind of put it in. Actually, let's hold down uh, shift and alt. So we're kind of dragging it. And actually, let's grab it, make sure it gets on the surface there. And I'm going to push it down. And let's see what that's, that's looking like there. All right, that's not too bad. And let's go ahead and grab this and copy it above. All right, and I'm not really liking that uh, color that it has on it. So we have to look at that, what it looks like when we actually render it. We have to play with some of the uh, the tones of yellow that it has there. Okay, so I also have these sconce lights here. So to do that, I'm going to use a different type of light. First, I'm going to create the surface into an emitter surface. So I'm going to go here to standard and go to emissive right here. And I'll change the color so it looks more just normal more white okay and as you can see if uh, the emitters surfaces they do not emit any shadows or any uh, lighting at all it's just it just looks on a surface like it's on but that's as far as the lighting effect goes so to get the lighting effect we have to place a, a different type of light which I like to use the spotlights um, and we'll go ahead and we, we use this lamp one and place it right there Let's go ahead and make sure we have that selected and change the cone angle. We'll change the uh, brightness and we'll go ahead and probably change the tone of it, make it a little warmer. 
and that might be a little bit too bright so maybe about there and I'm gonna go ahead and copy this over to the other side and then I'm gonna copy it above here use the rotate tool yep. let's make sure we rotate it correctly there we go and I'll leave it the same intensity as the one below it and then I have one more of those lights over here so I'm just going to copy both of these hold down control to select more than one and we're going to hold down alt oops let's try that again and it's not liking me grabbing more than one here all right we'll do one at a time let's see where it went here it is there we go we're going to place it right on the surface and we'll go ahead and grab our top one over here as well there we go and another thing I just realized is we don't have any lights in our garage area here so let's go ahead and grab this porch light that we placed here and let's see if we have this brightened up a little bit um, actually let's bring this down there we go And for this, we can actually um, show the light source since I haven't placed the light there. Um, we could go ahead and just make that the light source. Gonna make sure I'll place it on the top. Let's do the uh, shadow exclusion zone so that it kind of fills that area nicely. All right. All right, there we go. So it's casting a nice shadow on that vehicle. And let's see, where else can we pop some lights? That's probably good for now, but let me show you something else that I like to do. So right now, I can go ahead and try to make my shot, my rendering image shot, but it still looks a little plain. So what you want to do is you want to add some furniture inside here. So where you're looking, you, you're not just looking at empty walls inside. You want your rendering to have some life to it so I went ahead and popped in some uh, furniture so we go ahead and turn on this layer 5 and there we go so now we have some art you know some tables some lamps um, just little things that you would see from the outside that make it look like uh, there's some depth to your rendering to your model so it doesn't have to be anything real specific you know I just kind of pop stuff randomly in there nothing uh, real detailed but from the distance it looks like it might be a fur fully furnished house so that's kinda what you want to uh, obtain so now let's go to our render settings and we'll start a new one so I'm just to click here and it looks like there was already something going on here let's go ahead and clear it out clear effects and we'll start with an overcast effect and there it's looking good so far that's not a bad start and uh, if you haven't used these uh, these select styles uh, Lumion gives you some really good uh, settings to start with for creating your rendering so I highly recommend using those instead of just starting from scratch it makes your job a whole lot easier okay so one thing I want to change is I want to go to my camera and I want to change this to a two-point perspective so that we our verticals are nice and straight um, we can change our horizontal eye level kind of bring it down and if you click on it it'll kind of give you a brief uh, preview of what your rendering is going to look like but I think I still think it's too dark so let's go ahead and play with some of these settings let's go to real skies let's choose a different sky I'm gonna go to cloudy um, let's try one of these 
So that's a little bit too bright. Let's see if we can find something about middle ground. Okay, this might work. Let's see if we can adjust some of these other settings. So I like to adjust the shadow. So maybe not make it so dark so that you can actually see a little bit more of the details of the model. And we can also play with the heading of our sky. Maybe show a little peak of blue in there. And also the color correction. So here you can change the temperature of your model. So if you want to adjust something that doesn't quite look right. And let's go to exposure. Okay, so now we're getting somewhere. I don't like it to make it too dark because I want I want the uh, client to be able to see the details of the, the model. So I'm not trying to make it too artistic. I want them to be able to see what's going on. So that's not too bad. Let's see what other settings we can adjust. Sharpen it up a bit. Can go back to color correction, change the vibrance, saturation, the brightness and contrast. So really it's just kind of a uh, playing with your settings and you know it depends on the color of your model as well to see what makes a little bit more sense to uh, show some of the features of your model. And I do have um, my window settings here. So I have a very little reflection on it and fully transparent. So you can play with that as well if you want to uh, your windows to be a little bit more reflective. So let's see if I crank up that reflectiveness and let's go back to our model. And let's see what that does to our model. I'm going to go to reflective and we're going to the active planes. I'm going to select all these windows and let's see what that does if it adds anything to our rendering at all and it is on preview mode and I see a, I don't really see too much actually um, so I'm not sure if, if it's uh, if it's helpful to do that um, if I really want it to show nice and clear I can remove that reflectivity so that it's just very transparent um, so that's just a matter of preference what you think might look better for your model and so this is not bad so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and render this and go to the current shot so we're just gonna render this on the desktop size and um, I'll just call it the uh, evening render and I still like to do a couple little edits even after I render my shot and I just use the Windows photo editor um, you could get more fancy with it and use Photoshop and spend a great deal of time on it. Um, you know, just your preference, whatever you think is better for you. So I like to go to edit and even adjust some of the lighting even more. So you could just crank it up here. Um, I like to play with some of these settings. You adjust some of the highlights. Okay, and you can even uh, change some of the warmth here. So some of this stuff you could have done in Lumion, but um, you know sometimes it's just better to get it fully rendered um, and then just make some final tweaks. So there you have it, a quick uh, tutorial on just how to add some life to your rendering. I hope you like this video. If you like content like this, want to see uh, more videos like this, maybe something with a little more detail, uh, just comment below. Let me know what type of video you would like to see. And I'll see you next time. Thanks.